Drop in is actually pretty chill. I'm trying to ever think about what trail there is. I think I'll just leave it. That's gnar. That was kind of really gnar. Wow. Usually when I come up to a new feature, yeah, usually when I see a new feature, I'll scope it out. Renegade, by the way. I think is one of the gnarliest trails. Oh, that sounded awful. Or so in my opinion. It's one of the gnarliest because of how slow speed it is. Just how chunk everything is. Look at this. This is so gnar. Creep, 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 creep. And then you can't really ride that in the wet. It's too gas. Oh, it's right back to the Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. I said this trail's gnar, and you can't ride it fast. Didn't I just say that? You cannot ride that fast. That was... Yeah. Gosh. That renegade's gnar. For sure. Drop that a little bit. Nice. Bikes in secret places. This is super fresh. Super, super fresh. Wow, this is one of those ones you, you look at and it actually makes you more scared to ride it. A lot of the time you just look at something and then you're like, ah, I can probably do that. So I have actually ridden this trail before and I kind of wanted to show what the process would be like when you come across something that's like, well, maybe not quite pro line, but you're close. From up there, basically you're not really, you could stop in between these features here. 
but I can see this roll here and this roll here are not actually that bad. The runout is good. It's just how can you control your speed on this top one here? When you see this, it's practically vertical, this one. Uh, like very, very, very steep. What I see here is that there's two little flat, not flat, but less, uh, less slanted patches. You can see one, it's right here. And the other's just above it there. So my tires, when I'm rolling that, I can use those as braking points. And then you can't really brake on this sideways stuff. Use those as my braking points and then do most of your braking here. That's kind of how this one goes. So now it's like, I've looked at the feature. I know the feature. I know my line down the feature. I know there's gonna be grip on this rock. So now when your brain is committed, you can actually drop. Slammed on it. And there you go. It's how to approach a gnarly feature. I'm sure I'll do more of that in the future, but in terms of this one, that's what you're going for. Here. 